looking through this. Um, Oh, actually, before I finish my the sentence, uh, this is a link to another article. So, you know, I was uh, uh, looking up, okay, how fast did they measure the globular clusters? And this is a relatively recent article. And the place I link to, uh, this is something that if, for those of you who might end up doing physics or astrophysics research, you might become very familiar with. This is what's called a preprint server. A lot of authors preparing articles in these physical science disciplines um, as they are preparing to get it published in peer-reviewed journal articles. Um, this is uh, one place that a lot of people upload to and it's all available for free uh, because it's a preprint. It's not the final version that has um, that's been gone through the referee and all that. But even so, uh, for most of the articles uh, coming from reputable people, you know, associated with the institutions that you normally trust, um, yeah, where's the, I think it, once you go to the article that will have institutional affiliations. Um, uh, most of the time, this is basically um, Space Telescope Science Institute, yeah. Um, John Hawkins University. Um, you do have to watch out for because it because preprint server it's not uh, moderated in any way. Sometimes uh, cranks and crackpots do upload things, <laughs> so you do have to watch out for if it's coming from people or institutions you recognize. And um, and you know this is a whole sixteen-page article that you are welcome to read if you want to. The main thing I'm taking away and you see coded in the uh, in the slides are the average speed or the, I guess, the maximum or, well, average speed of the orbital velocity about 200 kilometers per second at a particular distance. And they are using kiloparsecs in the slide I uh, converted it to light years. So 21 kiloparsecs, that's about uh, 70,000 light years. So, um, so, but I, I wanted to link it to it in case um, um, some of you are interested in astrophysics research. Um, that what you see linked there that represents what uh, uh, represents a, a cross section of what a professional astronomer does um, and what they work on, what they publish.